if you can see on my screen right now, we are in a Joomla administrator uh, link. So uh, we will try to customize uh, what we can do uh, on this Joomla administrator. Uh, and uh, let's see uh, what are the advanced options that, that we can use the, for Joomla 4 without using any uh, any coding or any programming. So uh, if you check out our previous video, uh, we have explained uh, so many things about Joomla 4 and how, how you can make Joomla without any programming knowledge. Uh, we have shown you uh, many tips and tricks for that one. If you have time, you can uh, check that out as well. So here, uh, if you can see my screen right now, so this is the default uh, Joomla 4 administrator login. Uh, now, uh, this is the link of your front end. So if you click this one, it will uh, redirect you to your uh, front end Joomla. All right, then uh, let's, I'll, I'll go back to the administrator page. Uh, you can see here the, the Joomla logo. Uh, this is my Joomla because the name of my uh, demo site was my Joomla, but if you have a different uh, name from there, uh, it, it will also change, you know? Uh, if you can see here, there is some use, uh, another Joomla logo, username and password, and there's web authentications, login, and if you forgot the details. Uh, we have also explained to you in our previous video uh, what is uh, web authentications and how to use that one. But for this video, uh, we will show you what are the advanced features for this. So I'll try to log in right now in my Joomla uh, administrator. Right. And then I log in. I just click don't save my password in the browser. And uh, here, you will see the, your Cassiopeia uh, uh, template uh, default. This is the front end uh, uh, template. Uh, you can also browse your administrator template right here. And uh, this is the Autumn default template. And if you if you can see a star right here, that means your default. Now we will, uh, in, in Joomla 4, there is only one administrator template that we can uh, we can use so let's click ahead and check this one out uh -huh. there you go uh, if you can see here uh, you're allowed to change the the login logo uh, the login logo is the one that is uh, has a joomla logo with below is the user and password so we'll try to uh, put some uh, different image and we'll see uh, uh, how it looks like in the Joomla administrator backend. So just uh, simply select. It's quite easy actually to change. Uh, now I'll just uh, put uh, this one. Select. Yeah. There you go. Uh, well, you can put the alternative text if you want to but uh, we'll leave it as, as a blank for now and then you have as well here the uh, the brand large uh, option so so where you can found this one you can if, if you if you add an image right here this will be also change this if you can see it my mouse at the upper left corner it will change that logo so let's try a different logo uh, for us to uh, you know uh, for us to can see what what are the difference so I'll, I'll choose different color maybe uh, for us to be easily uh, uh, identify the color so okay I'll uh, Maybe use this one, the yellow. And then click select. Yeah, this one. And then the brand small. Uh, I will show you where you, can where you can find that one and where you can see that one. But uh, for now, let's uh, go ahead and uh, uh, 
replace this one I'll choose uh, this one okay uh, select Did I press select? Let me press select. Yeah, and then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, save this. See, uh, this is this logo what we have right here was uh, change the upper left logo of Joomla default. Now uh, I'll try to log out and uh, see uh, where we could see. But first, before I log out. Let me explain to you where you can find this one. So if you save and close this one, yeah, and if you uh, disable the toggle menu, there you go. You will find it here, the small uh, logo that we have uh, uh, input in our Joomla Atom default. So I'll uh, enable that one. And let's try to uh, log out. There you go. So you have here uh, the one that we change, and also the login logo that we change here. Okay. Now uh, we can also change some color actually here. I will, I will show you uh, where to change that one. So I'll log in again. Yeah, and don't save so you can go system and uh, administrator template click uh, atom and here you have three tabs details colors and images here you can change uh, whatever color you want but there is another option here that you can see set color to monochrome so it becomes uh, like uh, black and white, you know. So let's try and go ahead and save that one. And uh, check out the observe the template color. So I click saved. There you go. If you can see, most likely it's like a dark theme mode. Uh, so it becomes black and white. Even if uh, our logo that we replaced here was a little bit light yellow, it's just uh, uh, become black and white. So I'll uh, save and close this one and let's see the main dashboard. Yep. You have right there an advanced feature and a new feature for Joomla 4 uh, of a monochrome color. Now let's uh, try to log out and see the difference. There you go. So it, it's up for your preference uh, which color you want. But if you really want to customize this, you can do so. Uh, you can uh, click again system and then uh, administrator template style click the template, the default template, uh, enable this first, save it, and there you go. You can put uh, whatever color you want. So let's try uh, go ahead and uh, change something. Uh, let's try to put a different color to be uh, easily uh, identified. So this is the light background. So let's see and observe. Saved. Yeah, and then we can also the text right here so you can change the text text light link color so most of the link so you can we can try to change that one uh, I'll put green so that uh, we can easily identify it I just save it and then uh, you can see here the link color was changed uh, let's try this special color let's put it to sky blue I would say or uh, orange maybe yeah and uh, save close there you go here is the uh, 
pink that we choose and the color let's try to log out yeah it's also changed from here okay now uh, now that you know how to customize this one uh, you can uh, do it and test it from your Joomla 4 website so if uh, you have uh, other questions just comment below and uh, check our previous video and do not forget to uh, subscribe to our channel so that's it for now thank you and goodbye